my name is Nite Kashanvie. My areas of interest include artificial intelligence, Internet of Things and Embedded System. I have Bachelor in Electronic and Telecommunication Engineering, and I have Masters in the Internet of Things, especially in Embedded Computing System. And uh, I'm very happy to share with you this course of uh, Internet of Things. We're going to help each other for reaching our success. So, who can tell me what you can see on this picture, the image we have in the front of our computer? So, I was uh, asking my friend, what can you see on this image? On this image, I can see the building, I can see the vehicles, I can see like the, it's like the, the, satellite, I can see different towers, and all of them, they have, uh, they have the, like the Wi-Fi or internet connectivity, connection, which means it is like the communication medium between these devices. So that is means any device in this network can share or can receive the message or the information from uh, its neighbor its neighbor. Now, by picture of this image defines what is the IoT, what is the Internet of Things. Actually, the Internet of Things, it is the inter an interconnection of the physical devices embedded with electronics devices, embedded with sensors and uh, softwares for allowing the physical devices to collect the information from the environment and share those information with the other devices via internet connectivities. That is briefly the definition of the internet of things. So the IoT is not only limited just on connecting things like devices, appliances, machines, but even it can allow the data to be exchanged between different components or physical devices that are, that are computing on the IoT ecosystem. Again, IoT it allows those data collected to be analyzed, to be processed, and even share the insight or the information via analytics with the end users for helping them to improve their businesses and even take smart decisions. IoT, as I mentioned, is a network of physical objects embedded with electronics, software, sensors, and the network connectivity which enable those objects to collect and exchange data. IoT allows objects to be sensed and controlled remotely across existing network infrastructure. So don't expect with IoT you are going to build the network infrastructure for IoT. No, we're going to rely on existing infrastructure. We all know we have computer networking, which can allow the different message packets to be transmitted from receiver, which can be transmitted from the host to the destination. We have different protocols that, that are there for ensuring this reliable packet transmission. Again, we are going to start, we are going even to still relying on those uh, communication infrastructure to implement what is an IoT system only what you will do is to take the physical devices and give them the sensing and the communication capabilities so this is the quiz uh, i think you will work on it by yourself but you can say we can have an internet of things without sensing system who can give me the answer? Is it true or false? 
Okay, thank you. Lela, Lela has seen. Okay, thank you. So at the other side, an Internet of Things is an acronym of computer networking, yes or not? True or false? You fail. Uh, guys, you have again uh, to be careful and try to differentiate between the computer networking and the IoT. They are two different terms. So when you check, you can see the Internet of Things is an acronym of computer networking. The answer is false. Then, so an IoT system can be accessed at any time, at any place. There is no limitation of time and limitation of the distance. If we say this is an IoT application, it must have capabilities to be localized, to be accessed at any time, at any place, via any communication medium of your choice. Then, before the talking to the Internet of Things, there was so-called the Internet of People. By the Internet of People, let me allow someone. So the Internet of People, it means or it allows the individuals, the human being, to be connected via mobile phone, via computers, via internet connectivity. Actually, the internet of people was characterized by the social medias like WhatsApp, like the Facebook, like Instagram, Telegram, and so on. So the guys or the individuals can be connected and exchange and communicate, share information via this social platform. Then this technology was called the Internet of People. Then we migrate from the Internet of People to Internet of Things, where now the Internet of Things is the way of allowing the traditional physical devices that was not able to have the internet connectivity to allow them to have internet connection and allow them to sense their environment and to communicate what they have sensed and even to receive or exchange the data from their neighboring IoT device or from the end users via wireless communication media. So how does now IoT works in general? So at this picture, you can see we have uh, some image which are, looks like a mobile phone and they are in green color. So those are the end devices and you can call it like the sensor node. These are the physical device integrated with sensors, with computing device, like a microcontroller or a Raspberry, and then they have the uh, they have the network connection so that they can sense the environment, they co can collect data in environment, and then send or share the data collected. Then at the second level, we have so-called sync node, which aggregates data from those end devices, and uh, the sync node it can be sometimes similar to gateway, where the gateway, we call it an IoT device that accepts the data from different IoT devices, not from single sensors. And those data from, from sensor node are being pushed to the IoT cloud platform via public internet, and uh, there after the cloud platform, it's gonna analyze or store 
process data from the sensors, and then the insight of the information from the data analytics are going to be shared with the end users via the smartphone or the personal computers. This is the functionality of an IoT system. So as I mentioned, the entire working process of an IoT starts with the IoT device themselves, such as smartphone, digital watch, electronic appliance, with secure communication with IoT platform. The platform collects and analyzes the data from all multiple devices and the platforms and transfer the most valuable data with the application to the devices. That's what I was explaining here. It's the same scenario. Let's admit someone. Okay, the meeting. So the IoT, it will not only connect the physical devices, even the guys like you, like me, you can be part of an IoT system. How can you become an IoT device in the IoT ecosystem? Let me say you have um, developed a medical wearable device, and this medical wearable device, it is integrated with different physiological sensors, like the motion sensor, uh, blood pressure, heartbeat sensor, temperature sensor, and even the other different kind of the sensors. So those data collected by that we have devices from you guys via the Bluetooth, they can be shared to your smartphone. And as long as your smartphone is connected on the internet, it is going to play the role of the IoT gateway. Then it's going to be connected on the, the internet and then push the collected data to the remote servers. These remote servers might be managed by the nearby hospitals or a health institution, even uh, your medical doctor. Then after analyzing the data from uh, the sensors, your medical doctor can advise you which next step to take, can advise you which medical to purchase from a nearby pharmacy. And even it can uh, give you an appointment at the hospital place. So, cars can be again uh, an IT device. I think you all have heard about what do we carry smart vehicle, smart bus, and so on. Those smart vehicle, some of them can have the internet connection. They can have like different sensing technologies. Then the guys, you can monitor the the fuel usage, you can monitor if there are thieves who are trying to steal the fuel from your cars. You can monitor the location of your vehicle by using the GPS. And even you can give your vehicle like the computing capabilities to interact with the, um, the environment and even propose you to increase or to decrease the speed based on, based on the surrounding environment and sensor technology. So the IoT was uh, started later. Before the IoT, we have so-called pre-internet. For the pre-internet, this era, this time, it was called human to human, where it allows the operators with the mobile phone to, to interact by using like the, the text or a phone call. Thereafter, there was a discovery 
the web browser or web technologies. Then after the mobile phone were made smart or, or smart by adding the smart network, there this mobile phone were able, uh, the mobile phone and even via the uh, computers, the guys were able to communicate via email, they exchanged the emails and the information is, and they were, they were able to access different inter entertainment. This era was called the internet of content. Then by taking the internet of content, then we add some of the smart IT platform and services that it becomes the internet of services. For the internet of services, we had now e-productivity e-commerce, where the guys can uh, purchase the goods via the internet, can uh, pay, the, the, any device can uh, pay the uh, goods via the internet platform without physical interaction between the buyer and the seller. Then after, from the internet of services, we have added the the smartphone and smart applications that allows the individuals to interact and communicate by using different social medias like Skype, Instagram, YouTube, Telegram, WhatsApp, and so on. And this era was defining the internet of people. From the internet of people, then we added the, the smart devices. We take a device, we integrate with centers, and the computational capabilities and the internet capabilities, then we reach out to the term now we are calling Internet of Things. So the data without data analytics are useless or are of less importance. Let me just say you have deployed uh, a water pump into the national park, let me say the longer park, then you want to, to monitor the status of the pump inside the forest. Then you, you improve the, the sensors, then are collecting the sensors, the data from the sensors, then are pushing those data on the, on the cloud. Without those data being analytics, they are not going to help anymore to improve the working environment and even the performance of the system. So what is needed is to analyze data from uh, the pump, from the sensors, then inform the end users, maybe there is a leakage detected. If, it, if the leakage is detected, it needs the maintenance support, or we can even say, the water pump is normal, nothing needs to be done, or even you can predict, you can predict the maintenance before the system going down. Those are the crucial information which it comes about from modal analytics. Another example, let me say you have deployed an analytics system that uh, has to check the status of crops by using, by using image, processing, you have to set up a camera, which are created those data, and then I push those images on, on the server somewhere. So the farmers don't have the computing capabilities or analytics capabilities so that they can analyze the big data from the cameras. Then they come up with the information that maybe the crops are have or are not have, or even detect what kind of disease that the crops are suffering. So if there is no such kind of capabilities or add the value to IoT system to analyze those data and come up with the, the, those uh, crucial information, your system will be of, of less importance. Features of uh, IoT. So IoT system, it must have internet connectivity or network connectivities. So it must allow the, the, the things to communicate and share information, but here I must have analytics capabilities around different uh, physical devices to communicate and uh, share. Uh, 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 no, the analysis, it allows the system to gather 
or to collect data from the devices, analyze them, and share the insight or information from them with the end users. We can have integration where we, we, we integrate different models to improve the user experiences. We can uh, use artificial intelligence, which can uh, making the things to be smarter by allowing them to analyze the data from the sensors and they come up with the crucial insight or information is it, which are going to help the businesses owners or the end users to take smart decisions, which may help them to increase the efficiency and uh, the performance of the existing system. Yes, please. Sorry, a little bit. This is uh, was uh, another video which was uh, starting. I'm very sorry for that. Let's continue. Active engagement. The IoT makes the connected technologies, products, or services to active engagement between each other. Let me say here you have uh, deployed a camera based security system. Uh, these cameras uh, system are using different cameras uh, deployed at different uh, locations of the institution. So if you are going to allow these cameras to be active at the same time, they are going to consume the, a huge amount of time so what you can do for allowing efficient resource utilization, you can say, I want a, a only like one or two cameras to be active as long as they detect the motion or any the individuals. The first camera is going to tell the nearby cam camera that please be on. There's uh, here a new cameras. Then the camera is going to do the same thing. It record the next camera that here we have discovered someone's, you have again to be on and so on, so that they can work together so that they can implement the complete security system. At this time, the camera is going to work efficiently with power consumption by reducing the power consumption. So those uh, systems, they must have sensing capabilities. With uh, sensing capabilities, here the sensors are able to sense the environment, major any change in the environment. We have endpoint management. Those uh, IoT devices that are collecting the data from uh, sensors, we have the unique identification into the card platform so that they can be uh, authenticated, they can be discovered, and they can be localized and they manage the, via the IoT cloud platforms. So the, yes, please. Yes, please. So I was a, uh, giving you an example of a camera system, which is being implemented with a network of camera node, okay? The, the, the first scenario was to allow those all of the cameras to be active at the same time. But this, this uh, scenario or situation, we have more disadvantages. When, those uh, cameras are uh, being powered by using like, the, the battery. The battery is going to be ended in a few days. So for uh, ensuring or saving the power consumption, what you can do? We are going to allow those uh, cameras, like first camera to be active. Let me say the camera is at the entrance. The remaining cameras are off. If the first camera, Identify, identified 
the pupil, it is going to communicate or to tell or to ask the next camera to go out from the sweeping mode and to be active so that they can uh, implement or, or they can uh, even detract the newcomers. And the next camera is going to call again the father and, and so on. So those uh, IoT models are going to be active and, and try to engage to, to engage each other so that they can implement that uh, they can implement their overall objective. That's what I'm saying on it. Welcome. Yes, please go ahead. Yes. Oh. Okay, thank you. Could you mute your microphone, please? Then I answer your question. Okay, thank you. So even if you, we are saying the camera, it is not uh, just a camera like the, the, the camera you can go and purchase from Narada, from uh, like even the, 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 the other buyers or Farada, Fanex and so on. When I say the camera, is the camera but integrated with the computing device, either Raspberry, either Arduino, either node and so on. So first, if I say the first camera is going to call another one, it means the node with the first camera, it is going to send the information to nearby node, which is having the second camera. Then that node it is going to allow the second camera to go out from the sweeping mode into active mode. It is just a complete system. It is not a single camera as a such. Am I answering your question, please? Okay, thank you. So now, I was saying now, the uh, criteria of IoT, IoT, can allow different physical devices to be interconnected. It can allow devices to have the internet connection. It can allow the devices to be programmed. It can allow the devices to have uh, unique identity for being uh, localized and even being searched on the network and allow the other devices to send or see the information from it. It can allow the sensing to send from the, to measure any change in the environment and so on. And the interoperability inter can allow different devices from different manufacturers, which are communicating from different computer protocols to communicate and share information. And advantages and disadvantages of IoT. So, First, when you deploy an IoT system, let me say you all have, or you have recently de um, deployed a water pumping system in the new forest. Okay, so for the system to distribute the water system in the Yamagabe district, then let me say for tracking the status, the health status of the water pumping system, what you do, you employ or you hire a guy or a man power to go into the forest every morning, every evening to see if there is no leakage on the system. So by using the IoT system, we are going to replace that guy with the sensors and the computing device and the internet connectivity, then those sensors go to sense the leakage, the, the water flow inside the, 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 the pipe every, every day, every second, and those information 
I want it to be pushed into the cloud so that they can be accessed by the end operators or by the companies in charge of monitoring with the system. So first of all, when you are using the manual system, the, uh, maybe you are going to visit the system twice per day. And between, maybe the morning and the evening, the problem might happen maybe at 12, 12 o'clock. Between 12 and the evening, they are, we are going to have a huge loss of the water. But if you, you implement an IoT system as a such, because they are going to create the information every second, every microsecond, you are going to be alert every second. If the leakage is detected, the information is going to be shared, and even the maintenance is going to be provided on a time before having the crucial problems of the water in the location identified. Second one, we are going to reduce the cost. Of course, we are going to reduce the cost that we would use for paying the guy who was in charge of that. The second one, I want to create innovations. Yes, with IoT, that is an innovation. We are having like the, the desktop and the go and so on. We are having the smart incubators and, and smart discussion. Those, those are the new innovation which are bring on the market because of the emerging of IoT system and even plus those uh, artificial intelligence. So we have a new revenue stream, yes. If by having different uh, innovative services, of course, uh, the owners of those services are going to become the taxpayers and then they are going to contribute in providing the national revenue and so on. We have efficient utilization of resources. Yes, I have given you an example of this water pump. It means now you can manage efficiently the usage of the total pump I have given as an example. Minimize the human efforts, yes, because we are replacing the human by using automatic systems, we are going to minimize the human efforts. So of course you have some advantages of IoT. First one is the security. You have to remember guys that the IoT system we are talking uh, about it is being implemented by using a public internet. And as you have uh, you have uh, heard so far, we are having at the other side the internet hackers who are trying to leak the information from the internet service providers. We have again another issue of privacy. Let me say uh, you have purchased a wearable device, which are going to monitor all of the health data of um, you guys. Could you be comfortable to share those information with everyone on the cloud? Later we see the an alternative answer on this. Then you have an uh, issue of uh, Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Let me give you the answer. So actually when I say like the crowd, we, we have like the, 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 the other sessions which are gonna talk about the crowd in details. By, by now I can see in a crowd, a crowd platform I'm talking about, it is now a centralized, computing architecture, which is implemented by network or interconnection of different servers that are being hosted on the internet. That is the code you are saying is a network of servers accessed via internet connectivity. Am I answering your question? The, the, the IoT devices have to communicate with those servers by, by using communication protocols, internet protocols via internet connection, connection medium. Yes, later we're gonna define different available 
IoT communication protocol. So the IoT devices collect the data from the environment, and then they push those data into those servers we are calling the cloud. And the, later, the end users could create the account on the IoT platform or cloud platform so that they can view or access the data from any devices. Am I answering your question? I think so. Okay, thank you. So then IoT is there because of uh, different technologies in the play. First one, you have uh, wireless sensor network, where is the interconnections of the sensor node via different toys, communication medium, like LoLa, like Wi-Fi, like uh, Bluetooth, and so on. We have cloud computing technologies that I'm talking about that you're gonna provide the details um, in the later uh, chapters or sessions. We have uh, big data analytics uh, tools, like the machine learning and deep learning idea follow analyzing the big data from the sensors and they come up with the insight. We have uh, communication protocols that we gonna describe later, like Wi-Fi, like GSM, like the MQTT, like the Wi-Fi, like the Bluetooth, like the CFOX, uh, or like the narrow band IoT and so on. Now, for the IoT challenges. First, first challenges of IoT, it is data storage, storage capabilities of uh, our system. Even if we are uh, saying those uh, IoT cloud platform that they have to store the data permanently, those cloud platform or servers don't have unlimited space. They have the limited space. So if the data from the sensors are not controlled, those servers are going to be filled and then you are going to miss where you can store the data. The second issues, the system can be uh, can hang based on the amount of data that are available on the system. So we have to look for the alternative way of reducing the data that we're sending via the cloud platform. Lack of common technical uh, standards. So currently we are having a variety of IoT devices from uh, different manufacturers. All of these manufacturers are considering different communication protocols. However, these devices need to communicate and share the information. So it is a, a big problem, but of course the IoT tries to respond on this issue. We have now complexity and a clear value. So some of the customers have no experience with IoT system. And even if some of the guys who are, are trying to implement the IoT system, they don't explain what the benefit that the IoT is going to bring from the, their bosses or to their customers. And for convincing like your bosses, you have to come up with clear, clear information, what are the benefits that your boss can expect from the sensor system or the IT system. Another one you have an issue of traditional governance structure. The IoT is the new term in these days. As is the new term, even if for the bosses, which are, which are using or relying on a traditional system. If you tell them, I want to implement an IoT system that you do be used to improve the performance of your existing system or which are going to bring the new services and even speed up your system. Some company managers or businesses owners 
they are going to doubt it from you because they don't know they, they don't have the information about IoT. So it is a problem. But again, we have to work together and convince the public what the benefit that the IoT is bringing on the market. There is a lack of interoperability and standards. The number of uh, vendors, technologies, and protocols used by each class of mass devices inhibit interoperability. So actually, as I told you, are using the devices from different manufacturers, and there is no collaboration between manufacturers. But those different devices, they have to be integrated and worked together into one or a single IoT system. So there is a, an issue, how those devices have to be connected and share information. Guys, this makes the end of the first part of the presentation. Do you have any question? Any ideas before taking a break of 15 minutes? Do you have any question? So first, okay, let me go back a little bit. I told you some of like the advantage. We have a goal to improve the performance of the existing system. The second one, we are going to reduce the cost, okay? Uh, the other one, we are, go, the, 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 we are going to have uh, to create different innovative services. Then we are going to increase the revenue, uh, the revenue. The other one, can I say, even you are going to speed up. You are going to start to speed up existing services delivery. You can say you are going to minimize the human efforts and so on. Yeah, we, we, you can even come up with the other advantages. Any other question, please, guys? So guys, if there is no question, we are going to take um, now 15 minutes for the break and then we come back. Okay.